the Model T Ford put America on wheels. Henry Ford started the Ford Company in 1903. He sold several models before the Model T was introduced in 1909. Each model was an improvement over the previous model. He wanted to sell a car that was reliable, easy to maintain, and that the common man could afford. Early Model T's had brass radiators and you cranked them to start. In 1915, headlights were changed from gas to electric operating. I liked a 1915 touring car, so I decided to restore one. My buddy, Jeff Fries, has many Model T parts, so he rounded up most of the parts for me to restore. I brought the parts to my shop in 2016. The chassis. We started by restoring the frame. A rack was built to allow the assembly to be moved easily. The rear differential was overhauled and modern bearings were installed. Jarrett got a lot of experience disassembling, cleaning, and reassembling. The springs were cleaned and painted. New spokes and fellows were crafted by Noah Stutzman in Pennsylvania. After the wheels were installed, it was time to move on to the engine. Dave Hunter built the engine with a Dubatz crankshaft, Stipe 280 cam, new pistons, rings, and valves. A Stipe adjustable cam gear was installed set to four degrees. Final assembly was done in my shop. Jeff assisted, and Dave came down from New Brighton to make a, an adjustment. After building a temporary seat and firewall, it was time to test drive the chassis. Oh yes, we put a radiator and gas tank on also. The chassis ran well. The body was in many rusty pieces. We started with the rear seat section. We had to replace the bottom four inches. Many coats of Bondo were put on. Most of it was sanded off. It's now January 2023. We're waiting for the weather to warm up. Here are some pictures from 1915. This might be the first Model T pulling a trailer. Here are some fellows in St. Lucas, Iowa. They are gone, but the bar is still there.